moving on in moving on up um big news actually let's change the tone of the conversation big news over the weekend um the team behind Greece Müller one of my most favorite clubs in Berlin a club that I visited a few times but maybe not as many times as I should have because now it's permanently closed but fret no more because the team behind Greece Müller have revealed their new venue called Riviere Sudust which I'm led to believe is called is um German for southern southern area right or southern area or air or river southern or something i don't know along anyway anyway whatever in the former brewery and it looks banging right so far no real pictures of the inside or video footage because you know as um per typical in the berlin techno or dance scene you're not really allowed to take any videos or images inside these venues because they allow people to have a, a real this is like a true safe space right you're allowed to go in there and absolutely let your hair down get up to any kind of nonsense that you want to get up to without feeling the pressure that somebody's going to sneak a picture or a selfie of you um you know in a dark room somewhere getting a bit sweaty so this is news from my resident advisor says part of the whatever that word is space open to the public last weekend i think they had their opening this weekend just passed they had part three parts friday saturday sunday um again once things reopen and things settle down one of the first spots i'm visiting again i'm i really miss Chris Mueller, man one of my more favorite clubs i love the little outdoor um adult you know fun zone obviously sitting on the side of the lake when the sun's coming up smoking a cigarette even i don't smoke and pretending you're cool and just generally getting up to all sorts of nonsense in those little bushes like it's just one of the best places man but anyway it's article from Brian's advisor said the following the team behind the closed berlin club greece Mueller have opened a new very a new venue called rivier sudust right is that how you pronounce it rivier rivier sudust rivier sudust in a former uh Barn Baron Quill Brewery in wherever that word is. The outdoor section of the venue dubbed the Beer Garden, the Bear Garden or Beer Garden, um opened to the public last weekend with doors now open daily from two PM. It's unclear when the rest of the space will open as September the first dancing side is still forbidden in in Berlin, which is odd. So that's how they they get away with it by doing these open airs, which they're, you know, synonymous for. They they know how to do them, you know, with their eyes closed. They've got clubs at like CC Foss that are just, you know, essentially one big open air club. But um that's how they get around the dancing in Berlin. So in a month since leaving this old venue in Neuklin, the team have hosted events at the other two clubs in Altamund and Polygon, the original Grease Miller opened in 2011. Wow, on the site of a former pasta factory. So that's cool, isn't it? They've gone from pasta to beer. It would be cool if the actual restaurant that was on the site then changed, then had a menu that allowed you to have that pasta and beer. That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? It'd be a great way to kind of acknowledge um, the history of that place. Uh, da -da, they were forced out of the venue by February or by owners, SIAG property. Um, hundreds of people went in the streets to protest. Read Wallen's account here, but it's some pictures. And then I've got a couple. And so that's, I guess, the beer garden place. And then some cool little light installations on the outside. And then there's this really cool person on Twitter, on sorry, Instagram, decided to take some images of the outside and kind of give us a feel of what it kind of looks like. So I guess that might be the main dance floor area. I'm not too sure. This all little meshy netted area it reminds you of some place. It reminds you of the kind of um, design they have in um, Deck Mantle. I forgot in the shelter, right? They have the sort of like mesh um, cargo, the kind of mesh camo net sort of thing, right? Um, and then the next slide, you have the queue, some of the queue pictures here. Again, no idea where the dance floor is because no pictures are allowed indoors. I'm not sure if they're going to build out this entire open space or if it's just going to be left open. Um, that was part of the beauty of Grease Mueller, really. It was a little bit, you know, busted, a little bit DIY. It looked like, you know, it looked like it had been designed by like a team of like, 10 people all over the course of 20 years right things kind of stuck all over each other you know nooks and crannies all over the place but the main thing i liked about Grish Miller was the actual dance for itself right with all the little tinted um windows right so when the light was seeping through um early in the morning when you're dancing and sweating your ass off and feeling a little bit glum and maybe coming down a little bit having that light burst through just gives you another jolt of energy so that was awesome so maybe they'll do the same sort of thing here maybe letting in a lot of natural light but i don't know again if they've got they i'm assuming they've got like a dance floor space that's a little bit more or that's probably getting sorted out now at the moment right they probably got the opportunity to do two things at once Ho have host open air parties and also build out the entire dance floor and get that a1 before it gets opened 
but yeah i'm assuming that's the long queue you probably get checked here and they're doing it pretty well here because i remember i did sign up to it even though i wasn't gonna go but um you have to sign up for a ticket sort of waiver thing online on their site you then get sent that and then that confirms you can actually go to the venue to buy a ticket and i'm assuming when you queue you then get given the ticket based upon the register details you registered prior so they can have those for track and tracing purposes so they go above and beyond to make sure everyone in there is safe from what i've seen um so that looks cool again more um yeah i guess that might be the i'm not i don't know is that the dance floor i don't think it is but regardless that's the light insulation they were seeing here and then again more pictures of this place uh, nice heavy bike rack on the outside um the, the, the queue on the outside so yeah i really can't wait to go man i'm i'm, I'm really excited again part of the beauty of going but the of going clubbing in berlin is the fact that you don't know what you're gonna see right so there's no images inside of the dance floor there's no real videos of the inside if they are videos of the inside they're videos with you know with obviously the phone cameras um uh, lenses you know stick it over so you can't actually see what it looks like you just hear the music that DJ is playing and screams and hollering on the dance floor so it does build up build up a weird sense of anticipation that you don't get in any other sense walk of life really there's nothing else i can think of in modern society especially now that you have to wait for and you don't know what it looks like you just have to kind of hope when you get there when you when it comes to the post it's going to be good right you see everything you're gonna buy whether it's technology you know electronics clothing whatever you see it you, there's no way you can so to go to so to to kind of experience berlin club culture it's a bit of a sensory reset right you know how they say you do that thing online what's it called it's called a dopamine uh reset right or dopamine detox right where you essentially you cut yourself off from all electronics all social media all screens for the best part of what seven days so you can reset your dopamine level so that you can easily slowly but surely get into a space where you can sit down and read a book for an hour without touching your phone or whatever it may be and um i think going clubbing in berlin does the same sort of thing to you you were the first sort of times that you go because you soon you quickly realize that hey the pace that i go when i'm at home isn't the same pace i can go out over there because places stay open uh they open up early open up later but they stay open way way late way uh later in the day so you can essentially you know place that burger or even most places in berlin you can stay out from friday all the way until monday if you want to so it requires another it requires a different approach to clubbing you can't go out there the same way that we do here where you're preaching hard at home you're preaching on the street before you get there and, and as you're going into the club you're just about hanging on you can't really do that in berlin that's not the best way to get about um to kind of maneuver around the city because you know the door guys or the pickers on the doors themselves aren't just you know um heavy-handed security guards they're actually part of the club themselves they kind of help to dictate or to basically craft the um the temporal atmosphere of the club right based upon the clientele they take a quick look at you they somehow are able to discern your vibe what you're about what you stand for by a couple of glances which you know can seem unfair can seem a little bit uh, draconian can seem somewhat prejudiced um but whatever it is it does work once you get in that's the thing once you get into most of these places regardless of what they are like even if it's a place like same heads right you go in and you're like okay cool i get why they're wankers on the outside because especially on the inside everyone there looks like they've been picked and chosen specifically to add something to the atmosphere and re very rarely very rarely have i been anywhere and when i went out in berlin and i felt like you know what this has been a shit night because so and so made it dead it doesn't happen man it really doesn't so um that's that yeah so i'm looking forward to going but it's just wild just to remember just how it feels like to go to some a, a club in berlin and have no idea what it looks like on the inside just going you know blindly but of course you know i trust the gris Mueller people they put they had one of the best clubs in berlin for you know a very very long time and only had to close due to you know planning permission and all that sort of malarkey so it wasn't as if they like closed because they weren't popular they were flipping popping you know cocktail de more being one of their bigger nights and then someone here actually posted a video um from the old grease wheel that i thought i'd play for you quickly here yeah, it's really cool but i can't lower the volume so this again a little warning for you guys if you've got your volume set to high please lower it in three two one <laughs> I'm 
That's how good that looks, man. And as you can tell from the songs playing, it's the more of all the clubs in Berlin. Maybe Roses is another good example. In uh, uh, is it Friedrichstein? Where is it? It's in Kreuz, it's in Kreuzberg, right? Maybe Roses is another one. There's not. This is one of the and Same Heads too being a good, another good example. It's one of the rare places in Berlin where they don't essentially just stick to techno. It's a bit more of a looser music policy. It gets a bit fun. It gets a little bit silly. It gets a bit camp. Um, it's just a good time. It really is a good time. Um, again, so I'm happy to see them um, opening up a new spot. I can't wait to go to that place once it reopens. The River Sudust. Is that what it's called? River Sudust. Um, again, loads of great... Um, gigs and parties coming up here we see on the list they've got one on the 24th with um records who's playing here chris liebling oh okay interesting djs and beer guys is finally playing out and link uh, uh spencer parker radio slave okay that'll be a pretty interesting one to see them the guys do it and i'll be interested to see their review but yeah loads of good nights that they're putting on here coming up oh this what's it cyanide open air this has already got 395 people um confirmed on ra this is interesting isn't it so yeah, clara Koo, dj hyperdrive hector o scott balsey nini h nudri beer spfga so yeah it's a flipping solid lineup so yeah keep an eye out if you're interested and check them out i don't again I, you can trust them with your night out you definitely can from my limited experience